So we've got a substantial insulation problem there. All right, we've got a pretty cool thermal imaging camera here from HSF Tools. This particular product is the HF96V. Let's open it up and uh, see what we get. All right, we got some uh, documentation here. And we've got a uh, USB C cable with an adapter that uh, will adapt it to type A. Here's the thermal imaging camera itself. USB type C port here on the top for charging and data transfer. And you've got a little trigger uh, here on the front and uh, some buttons here on the back. And then you've got uh, this nice uh, wrist strap. And then what's also cool is you've got a little um, tripod mounting point uh, there, which uh, could be handy. Let's boot it up and see if something happens. And then looks like we got a little setup menu here. So let's just go through that. English. All right, I'm gonna run through this setup quick and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, we've got it all uh, set up here. And if I put my hand in front of it, uh, you can see that uh, we're getting a nice uh, thermal image on it. If you push the up and down buttons, it will change how the image appears, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I personally like the, you know, rainbow uh, colored one, this one right here, um, but uh, you have different options. One in particular that I think will be handy, I'm just gonna come down here and show you this in the settings. You can come here to uh, the alarm settings. We'll go ahead and turn that on. And then you can set a threshold. So if we say, okay, it's gonna be more than, and uh, we're gonna set the threshold to 96, okay. So now if we go here and we go to the above alarm, uh, there's a, a few specks of red maybe on there. But watch what happens when I put my hand on there, it all of a sudden gets really red, right? Now my hand is uh, hotter than the 94 uh, or the 95 degrees, right? So the cool thing is you could program that to uh, alarm at a specific temperature so you can scan something and make sure that nothing's getting above a certain threshold. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna take a, an image here of my hand. Okay, this, so this is pretty cool. So I'm gonna throw this up on the screen. This is the uh, captured uh, image uh, from the camera. It's pretty straightforward and uh, simple. Up in the top left corner, we've got temperatures. Okay, we've got the center temperature, we've got the maximum temperature and the minimum temperature. The center temperature is right there in the middle where you're pointing the uh, thermal camera. The max temperature, is uh, right there uh, on my the side of my finger, and uh, it's represented by that red crosshair. And then the minimum is clear down at the bottom right corner because the wall uh, is uh, the coldest point in this image, and that's 67 degrees, as you can see. We've got a legend on the far side there that uh, shows, okay, the bottom, coldest temperature we're seeing is 67. The hottest temperature we're seeing is 64.3. And so then you have a gradient there uh, of different temperatures between that. Uh, so you can uh, easily kind of map the other temperatures uh, based on their color. So I think that's pretty cool. The other cool thing is I've set this up so that it also captures an actual image. That way you can see what it actually looked like in real life and uh, and what it was that you were looking at. All right, let me show you something else that's kind of cool with this uh, device. If you're gonna take a image um, you can go ahead and pull this trigger, but if you if you just pull it quick, it'll take a, a snapshot, uh, just as we looked at a, a second ago. But if you pull and hold it, I don't know if you can see, can you see right there? You can see it on my finger now. That laser pointer is going right where the center point of the camera is pointing. And so you're able to very easily pinpoint uh, an exact location. So if we want to see like right there in that the crack of that wall, we can do that and release and it will take the picture. But that way we know exactly what our center point in the image was targeting. And that's very cool. Okay, so this is in a bedroom here. We kind of just sweep this across here. Check this out. Right behind those pillows on the left side, very cold spot there. We're talking low 60s, almost in the high 50s. So we've got a substantial insulation problem there. 
that uh, needs to be addressed. Thankfully, I have access to that, so I can fix that. This could be invaluable as far as finding out where you may have some insulation issues in your house and you could potentially fix that and uh, make it so that you are not wasting a ton of energy either heating or cooling your space because you're losing it all. All right, let me show you another use case for this heat camera. I'll be making a future video about this, but I'm currently in the process of uh, building this uh, massive battery bank. But uh, when you're dealing with a bunch of uh, cabling like this, be able to come through here with a heat camera and uh, go through and make sure that none of your connections are hot is a very big and important safety deal. So anyway, nothing, no power is running through these wires at the moment. Uh, so we don't uh, have any heat uh, being generated, which is good, but uh, very, very cool and very good to have. Check this out, I just noticed this. Up here, I have a, an outlet Right there, it's not being used, but it is a GFCI, and uh, the heat camera is picking up uh, something on that. It's a good 15 degrees warmer than the rest of the room here. Very interesting. Might have to actually uh, look into that and see why. I'm guessing maybe that outlet is feeding other plugs that uh, are being used, and so power is flowing through that, and that's why we have a little bit of heat there. So you can see all kinds of cool stuff with a heat camera. And this one's super portable, and super convenient. Anyway, this may uh, be a tool that uh, some of you want to uh, take a, a good look at. It can help you save money in terms of, you know, insulation values and uh, different things. It can help you stay safe if you're building, you know, electrical stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna leave a link for it uh, down in the description uh, so you can check it out. And please don't forget to give us a like and consider subscribing and uh, leave a comment uh, on your thoughts about this. And we'll catch you all next time.